So around this timeline, you were talking to Isro by paying money. You can get into get it put in anywhere. You said, how did world's smallest satellite, which is still right now the world's smallest satellite you guys built, came into the picture? That was a total accident, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I mean, I just want wanted to launch something into space. Like growing up, my only dream was like. See, today we are talking about this AWS for space. We are like democratizing space and all. I, I, for a 16-year-old, Rafa, just put something in space. That was my goal. It was a very small, simple goal for a 16-year-old, right? Launch something into space. So, w was looking at all the opportunities. Then NASA announced a competition where, like, you have to build a payload under 64 grams, and uh, the best payloads they will select and provide a free launch. And the limit was 64 grams. So, I just designed a, a satellite bus. Plus 64 grams because that was the limit. We submitted that. Then I go. I went to write my board exams. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, I was in 12th at the time. But uh, after that, three months later, got result that uh, we got uh, selected in that. So wow. that is how we built it and uh, launched it. And that was like totally uh, making like a world's like a satellite. Like not 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 even my plan. Like it just happened and uh, went viral, which I was not even expecting. 